that have done all things well, Master. We just praise your name. We pray that you would just continue to be with us throughout this day. That you would lead and guide us every step of the way. That our minds will be stayed on you, Father. Realizing if our minds are stayed on you, everything will be all right. We just praise your name. We want to go on praising your name. There's another blessing to ask in your darling son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen, everybody. We thank the Lord for being here this morning. And to further our program, we are going to now say the Pledge of Allegiance, and after which we'll sing America the Beautiful. So I guess we can face toward the, the water. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, beautiful, for spacious sky, for amber waves of rain, for purple mountain majesty, all of the prayer and part of the observance is a prayer for America that came from Ann Graham Lutz who is our um, chairperson for the year. Here's her prayer. Lord of the universe, Lord of this planet, Lord of the nations, Lord of our hearts. On this national day of prayer we look to you. In the darkness you are our light. In the storm you are our anchor. In our weakness, you are our strength. In our grief, you are our comfort. In our despair, you are our hope. In our confusion, you are our wisdom. In time of terrorism, you are our shield. In time of war, you are our peace. In times of uncertainty, you are the rock on which we stand. We make our prayer to you using the words of prophet, the prophet Daniel. O oh Lord, you are the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and keep his commandments. You are merciful and forgiving. You are righteous. But this day we are covered with shame because we have sinned against you and done wrong. We have turned away from your commands and principles. We have turned away from you. Yet you have promised in Second Chronicles 7, that if we, a people identified with you, would humble ourselves and pray, yes. seek your face and turn from our wicked ways, yes. then you would hear our prayer, forgive our sin and heal our land. Yes. So we choose to stop pointing our finger at the sins of others and examine our hearts and lives. We choose to acknowledge our own sin, our neglect, defiance and ignorance and even rejection of you. This day we choose to repent. In, re in response to our heartfelt repentance, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in keeping with you your righteous acts and according to your promise, turn away your anger and your wrath from the United States of America. Hear the prayers and petitions offered to you on this National Day of Prayer as we give you our full attention. Give ear, our God, and hear. Open your eyes and see do not make requests of you. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. For the glory of your name, hear our prayer. Forgive our sin and heal our land. We ask this in the name of your son Jesus, who offers us salvation from your judgment, forgiveness of our sin, and reconciliation with you through his own blood shed at the cross of Calvary. Amen. 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 God bless you all for being here. And uh, now we're going to have a song and a poem by Brother um, Jose Francois. And then Sister Rita, Rita Daughtry will talk to us about being equipped to pray. 
and we'll come back to you after. You. Jesus on the main line, tell me what you want. Oh, Jesus on the main line, tell me what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell me what you want. Jesus, 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 Jesus,